So Dawn Butler is another Labour MP who's completely out of their depth. As you will see in this clip, how on earth she's an actual MP is beyond me. She doesn't even understand the question she's asking at all. It's ridiculous. All right. Um, Dawn Butler, then Graham Stringer. Thank you, Chair. Um, can I put on record my thanks to uh, professors for coming in today, two days before Christmas? Um, can I just ask a question, first of all, on references to the old virus versus the new uh, variant? Um, in the beginning, when we discovered the virus in the UK, uh, there were two different variants, one from Europe and I think the other one from uh, the US. When we now talk about the new variant uh, versus the old uh, variant, what is the old variant? I'm not sure if uh, which professor's best to answer this, actually. Perhaps Professor Horby as chair of the, the group? Yeah, I, I, can, I can start and say that it's, it's very complicated because, you know, <clears throat> virtually, you know, even when you're infected with a virus, you're not actually infected with one pure strain. You're infected with a population of viruses. So even in one individual, when you sequence a virus, you're actually sequencing the dominant strain. And if you do another type of analysis called deep sequencing, you actually find that even within one individual, there's actually a population of viruses. So how you define, you know, what virus A from virus B really depends on how deep you want to go into the, into the genome. And it does get very complex. Professor Barclay, um, could, do we know yet the markers associated with long COVID? Hmm. Thank you. And my last question, um, Professor Horby, you talked about, um, you talked a little bit about uh, egging up, you know, bigging up uh, the, the new variant sort of thing. Um, if we had cancelled Christmas in the beginning of December, would we have needed a tier four? Uh, I'm... Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, you know, that's a policy question, and also would require some modelling assumptions. Um, you know, because the, the assumption then is that you know cancelling Christmas would have had an effect on transmission that was occurring in um, <clears throat> in October, November, which is when this variant arose. And so I think, you know, what would have mattered was what was being done at that time, um, mm -hmm. and, and what we saw was that this virus you know, managed to very successfully expand both in numbers and in space during the national lockdown, which I think speaks to the fact that um, you know, it, it is a very um, efficient virus. Actually, one more question. Um, did each of you, did you uh, in any way panic when you thought that three households were going to be mixing over Christmas? Did you hold your head in your hands and think, oh no, this is really a bad thing to do? What were your, what were your thoughts? Can each of the professors answer, please? Briefly, perhaps Professor Horby uh, versus the chair. Uh, <clears throat> I think it, uh, it wasn't, the, the, it's not the three households. I think it's all the, it's, it's the whole package of measures that matters. It's not just whether three household mix, it's also whether, you know, um, you've isolated before that, whether you've taken precautions before that, um, how intense your measures are, and, and whether you have, before you mixed, um, been careful with the you know, social distancing, hand hygiene, uh, face masks, etc. cetera. Okay. Uh, briefly, okay. Professor Barclay and uh, Ferguson. Yeah, I mean, only to agree with, with Peter. I mean, the, the idea of three in itself is not a problem, but whether or not it was three on one day and then a different two on the next is, is the issue. And whether or not people were really understanding the logic behind the three, I think is you know a, a question. Um, so it's about the whole before and after as well as on the day that, that matters. Thank you. Yeah. Professor Ferguson. Very briefly, 
So it was always a balancing act. I mean, I've said before, and it was the conclusion of all the scientific advisory bodies that clearly any relaxation of, of mixing within households poses some risk. The three household measure, three household bubble was a way of mitigating that risk, but it is an increased risk. Um, I should say, just on the background of the contact rates generally in the population are lower over the Christmas holiday than just before and just after. And so what we expected to see was, I mean, some increase in risk, but hopefully in a manageable way. And that, that comes down to a political about balancing health, can, you know, protecting health against uh, people's freedom to socialise in the important time of year. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you all very much.